I didn't think that it would blow up this much. Like, because two years ago you were just I didn't own a camera two years English, ago, right? Yeah. And then now I've had like half a billion views, so it's pretty cool. I'm hanging out with Drew Binsky in Hong Kong. And yes, in less than two years, he's gone from an English teacher with a blog to becoming a popular video maker, reaching more than 500 million views across Facebook and YouTube. In 2018, he made more than $150,000 through ad revenue and brand deals. I'm even meeting his parents who were originally skeptical about their son ditching the traditional career path. A double degree from a major university and he's running off to teach English. Drew's already visited 163 countries, but he wants to visit every single one on the planet. And just like any parent, his too can worry. So the last couple ones that he wants to hit, we're, we'll have a debate on, I'm sure. But I'm here to find out how this guy escaped a traditional job to get paid six figures, travel, and inspire millions in the process. Drew's strategy is to make one video per day for his several million fans that he's racked up. Today, he's doing an entire video on one of the world's cheapest Michelin-starred restaurants. And everything he's doing is on the fly. Nothing is pre-planned. No, 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 no. Oh, like that. Oh, okay. She's going to put some. Okay. So you're not doing a meetup in Hong Kong with your fans? No, I decided against it. We just did a huge one in Manila. Um, 250 people came on a rooftop, like, with the city around us and live food, live music. He sometimes takes his work offline to do fan meetups, like this one he did recently in the Philippines. Throughout my afternoon with him, I'm amazed to see how many times he gets recognized by people on the streets and the way people light up when they meet him. What is it like to see that many people show up to see you? It's cool. I don't really think of it in that context. I just like, I'm just doing my thing every day, but it's, it's special when you have hundreds of people coming to see you. It's kind of like, I guess, a musician is going to play a show in whatever city and then people come because they like their music. So it's something similar to that, I guess. But um, I don't know, I just, I, I read the wave. So right now I'm shooting a video uh, about the cheapest, about the world's cheapest Michelin star restaurant. And if you want to make a cameo, man, we just ordered a bunch of food. And sure enough, I make a cameo. So these are the famous barbecue pork buns, Tim Ho Wan's. They were just served fresh off the press. Um, let's take a bite, man. Drew's originally from Arizona, and he's quite outgoing. At lunch, he talks to the people next to us, and I even learn he speaks some Korean. Hong Kong, I try you. Hong Kong, it's your first time here? You can't just overnight become a successful video maker or anything with any profession. If you're a golfer, you can't just wake up tomorrow and be on the PGA Tour. To be in front of the camera all the time, it takes a certain person because you always have to be showing your personality. This is a money shot, dude. Drew started doing short videos on his Snapchat accounts before he transitioned to more professional, longer form videos after his girlfriend brought him a video camera as a surprise. Oh man, this is the life. This is the good life, like hanging out of a tram in Hong Kong. Things really took off for him though after he was able to take an organized trip to North Korea. His videos from that trip would rack up 10 million views. And that's when he pivoted to being a full-time video maker. So every month is different. Like one month I can make one grand and one month I can make 30 grand. And both of those months have happened before. You so, made 30 grand. Yeah, yeah, through ads. So. If a video goes crazy viral on Facebook, I can make five figures on one video and I make 30 videos a month. So it just, it's all, it's like gambling, right? But I never look at the money as a motivation or a drive to, to do what I do. He also makes money through brand partnerships with companies like Booking.com and tourism boards, including Germany, Jordan, and Fiji, that are looking to use bloggers and influencers to promote tourism. Visiting every country in the world isn't easy. It costs a lot of money, but Drew has figured out ways to budget. And the U.S. State Department has a number of countries listed as do not travel for U.S. citizens. But Drew is on a mission to visit every country in the world, and that inevitably means some big risks. Welcome to Iran! He posted videos from a trip he took to Iran. Collectively, they gained more than 20 million views on his social media channels. At first, it was hard to convince my mom and my parents that I'm going to do this full time. My mom's like, when are you coming back to get a corporate job, whatever? Because I studied economics, so they think I should get a corporate background, corporate job. But I think I've proven to her now. She's, she watches all my videos, and I think she knows that this is what I want to do. We're very traditional, so, you know, we 
send our kids to college and then they get a degree and then you expect them to work and you know hopefully come back to Arizona or wherever they end up but never to live out of the country. But while he's convinced them that this is a sustainable career path, now he just needs to convince them that he's going to finish his list of the remaining 40 countries he has left. How do you feel when he travels to places like North Korea or Central Africa, Lebanon? You know, there's times as a parent that you're very nervous about where he's going. So the last couple ones that he wants to hit, we're, we'll have a debate on, I'm sure. Um, I don't know who will win the debate because Drew usually I'm going anyway. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, Drew usually goes anyway. Drew tells me that one of the most rewarding parts of his experience is exposing his parents to traveling outside of the U.S., which they didn't used to do before. We're starting to travel, which we've never done before, outside the United States. So it's opened up our lives to different cultures, different foods, and, you know, different areas. And now his parents accept the fact that his career path is anything but traditional. Yeah, it's just amazing the millennial generations may will figure out five, six, ten years ago this didn't exist and have millions of followers. I actually wake up every morning, the first thing I do is look for a Facebook video or an Instagram post. It's my favorite thing to do. Oh, it doesn't happen, I go, what's going on? And I give them grief, but it's really cool. It's kind of like a validation when I take them around and they see what I'm doing is like a real thing, like a real job. So yeah, it definitely, there's like a, an aha moment where I'm like, yeah, like I'm happy that they're seeing what I'm doing is real, yeah.